Hey everyone, and welcome to another pre-modern Magic Online match. I will be playing the deck I have in front of me is the Blue Red Control deck, and this is a list that I got from TC Decks from Magus Holstrom. And it's basically if you take the mono blue decks, which we have kind of seen uh, in some forms or fashion, and then there's this tiny little splash for Fire Ice. I guess you just have uh, the four Shaman Reeves, two Mountains, and I guess in a Crows of Catacombs, to cast the Fire Ice, and then I guess there's Pyroclasms in, in the sideboard, but it's pretty much a mono blue control deck. There's a lot of lands, and you're, the way you're going to be winning is Fairy Conclaves and Mistress Factories. There aren't any creatures in this deck, so you're just looking to control the game. Slow the game down with Standstill, um, then you have Powder Kegs and Neverill's Disc. One of the cute interactions is uh, you have the Chain of Vapor, which can return an online permanent. But then the never rolls disc, so you can tap it and destroy all artifacts and creatures. And though it doesn't sacrifice itself to use this ability, you tap it and it's going to destroy itself. You could use this ability and then you could chain a vapor with the ability on the stack. The disc is going to come back to your hand and then you're still going to get the effect. So that's a situation to look out for. I don't know if it's going to come up. That's something you can do. But basically there's just a lot of counter magic. And then the chain of vapors can do some weight because if something slips under under your counter magic you're able to fend off but usually like mistress factory does a, a good job of of slowing down some amount of creatures and then you have powder keg to take out if they flood the board but then also never install disc which will take out like decks especially if they have like a variety of artifacts or enchantments that they're playing to the board it can really catch you up there uh so just a lot of just decent cards in the main going over the sideboard Hermod's Crypt is something we'll see just against the decks that have a star, strong graveyard interaction. A Null is a card that I really like in a lot of the blue decks. Just a hard counter, and there's just so many decks that have artifacts and enchantments, and they really rely on them, so there's a lot of matchups I can imagine this coming in. And uh, Three copies of Hydroblast against the red decks, the Slies and the Goblins. Give you a few more pieces of interaction against those type of decks. Uh, then Chill also for those decks that'll slow them down. Uh, one copy of Teferi's Response, which if you're not familiar with this card, is pretty good at protecting your Mistress Factories and Fairy Conclaves. Uh, two mana counter target spell or an ability that opponent controls. If a permanent ability is counter this way, destroy that permanent. So if it's like a, a Wasteland, or more like if it's a Rishon and Port, uh, something that's having it down, you destroy it, and you get to draw two cards. So uh, a pretty swingy effect. There's one copy in, in the sideboard for that. And then there's four copies of Pyroclasm with your... Elves decks and Goblins decks and the, anything flooding the board that is going to pull ahead of, quickly that's going to go under your counter magic, you can have a good reset button with Pyroclasm. So before we jump into the match, I just want to thank Dojo Tradebots for making this video possible. I would appreciate it if you check them out on Magic Online for any of your MTGO needs, but then also they do have a store in TCG Player as Dojo Trade Paper Outlet. So give them... Give them a look if you're shopping there, and uh, let's get on to the match. All right, so looks like Lester is on the play, and he is keeping some cards. And this Haran seems, yeah, good enough. If he's not doing much, then I can play a standstill right away. Don't have any of the Mistress Factories or Fairy Conclaves, but... Oh, curse scroll. Right. I will play the island and then pass. And the potentially there's something I want to chain to vapor. I would guess dead guy ale from from the start from him. A oh, mox diamond. Maybe the black white pox list. Nope. The Lanover wastes. I am not sure what's going on over here. Vindicate. Vindicate. Well, I guess. Uh, I thought I was safe playing an island on turn one. <laughs> Um, I don't think 
I want to chain a paper or anything. Maybe the Mox Diamond? I'll do that. I, this, uh... That'd be a little awkward. Yeah, this chain also is like kind of an aggressive use of it, so... I don't know. I guess if I had it like a blue source, because it's like... Do I wasteland his wasteland now? I think I'm going to, because otherwise like, I'm not going to have a blue source. So. I guess I'm going to try and mana screw him, but I mean like... If he just has another land... And I've wasted a lot of tempo. So. Or a resource for something that he doesn't really care. Because it's not like I'm pressuring him in any way. I'm going to lead with the Dust Bowl. Because if I'm going to lose one, like another Wasteland or Vindicate or something, I guess I'd rather it be the Dust Bowl. And so... I think I'm okay just... I mean, there, he does have a Curse Scroll in play, but he's not playing the Mox Diamond. So I don't think he has another land. Uh, and the more turns he waits, the less reliable Curse Scroll is. So All right, we have a Duress. All right, drew some land, so that's, that's definitely step one. He might just have to take the stand still. <laughs> um... But uh, this Neverill's Disc, I'm guessing, is pretty good too. Alright, he does take the standstill. It makes sense. Uh, so I can either play Island or a pain free source of blue mana, or I can play Mishra's Factory. I don't know how likely it is that I'm going to be attacking with Mishra's Factory. I'm going to just gonna play Island. Man, if I get to the point where I'm like just dust pulling him. Seems pretty good. Do I just want to cycle this fire? I I do not know what he's playing, so some junk type deck. I guess I will cycle this first fire ice. Another factory. Good. A lot of factor frictions. I think I'm just going to run off this disc. I mean, he could have like a Vindicate or something, but this kind of prevents him from playing the Mox Diamond and get it down now while he's doesn't really have anything. But The next turn, do I want to start dust bowling him? Do I want to be factor fictioning? I guess I would go down to five cards and then get two or three most likely. Maybe. I guess I would like to hit some more lands. So if he draws something like a wasteland, then I guess it's pretty awkward for him. Dimian grunts? What is going on here? Yeah, you can have a simi run. Okay. I guess this is like a junk aggro deck. Very interesting. Simi grunts. I have a disc. I guess I'll let him hit me. At least one turn. So if Utah Village were activated, it, the disc would get it. Oh wait, I have... This one's not 76, right? I can just eat this Mistress Fit, or this Demon God. So if I have one... And I still have Prohibit up for sorts of postures, right? Activate... I want to see which one of these newly controlled. All right, so we'll activate this one.
Yeah, I think this might just be a mistake, but I guess it's preventing me from factor fictioning. I have to imagine he has swords. Okay. The sequence seems good. And now, I guess when's the point that I start just like going after his mana? And when's the point do I just like factor fiction? I guess I will. I'll factor fiction. So I'll attack for two. Okay, he's finally got a basic land. <laughs> Let's see. All the herd? Giving grunts? Hunted Wampus. I had to check to see if I had any creatures in my deck. I do not. They're all just based off the lands. Hunted one pest. All right. You got a hunted one pest. A four mana six six. He did it. All right. Now we just get to sit back and relax while Lester has to work and split these piles and I can just, I don't know, it's a good situation for me for whatever. So I have this Chain of Vapor so I'm able to like activate and bounce this Neverill's disc if I want. I'm just going to take this pile with more lands. Outer Keg. Well I think I will be activating this Neverill's disc. Next turn. Play the factory. Okay. So we'll let him attack. I will activate it before attacking. So the question is here is. I want to bounce this disc. I don't even know if I need to. I'm not going. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to blow up the disc. This curse scroll and this hunted wumpus. I have the powder keg for, I mean, I have the dust bowl for the creature village too. So do I want to fact here or start blowing up his lands? Got a lot of mana. I think I'm gonna fact here. Wait. Well, nothing seems good for him, but I guess I have six cards in hand, so taking a four card pile is little less appealing we'll be able to play a land and a powder keg so yeah i'm just gonna take this small i think the counter spell is better since i already have a powder keg all right so My powder keg. This is kind of where it's just like I feel like I could do a million different things and all of them are good options, so I think I will start going after his mana now. Or maybe I should... Alright. 
That was enough for Lester, so we'll move on to game two. All right, we're back for game two. We've got a standstill and a blue source. Blue source is susceptible to wasteland, but this seems pretty good, pretty solid. So. The lead was a vicious factory or a mountain. That's, I guess, my first question. Well, I guess I have my first answer, so. I mean, I guess maybe I'd be fine with him trying to kill my lands. Maybe it is a little bit awkward if uh, he takes out my only blue source, but I mean, if he's got to break the standstill, then I'm likely to draw another blue source. The river boa. Well, that is going to get... Uh, if I fire ice, I could lose my shivan reef. I'm still going to do it. I guess I could have just done the, the mistress factory. Yeah, that was that was wrong. I was for some reason I think I was needed the shivan reef for. Uh, before the red mana, but obviously I have the mountain, so yeah, that was He'll probably wasteland my blue source, but I mean maybe he thinks it's a trap. I'm trying to bait him into it, so we'll see. We'll see what he does. We gonna vindicate. Vindicate on the shiver Okay. I will play a powder keg. I don't have any blue banner, but I can't complain about that since I definitely put myself in that position. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't know if I want to put a counter on this. Like, I don't know if he just has all the herds and whatnot. I mean, I have seen like hunted wumpus, but I also have seen like treetop village, so. I'm going to keep it at zero for now. These vindicating a land, wastelanding a land. Maybe I do need to take it up now. Yeah, I'll take it up now if I, because I don't have a very good answer to like the creatures that I had seen last game. And it might be a while before I find an answer, so. If you play something like Treetop Village, he has to be spending mana every turn to, to do it. So. I guess I just put this up to two. Oh, Fairy Conclave. I like that. Blue source is good. Got Simeon Grunts? Where we're we at? Yes. These monkeys mean business. They're business monkey. I don't see like a suit or tie on this guy, so I don't know. Wait, he's down to 13, <laughs> not to 12. <laughs> I can maybe race him. <laughs> oh, he's got a tree top village, okay. But I guess I'll take this powder keg up to three. All right. So if I play a standstill here, I mean, he could be attacking with like Treetop Village every turn. Right now, he's got to take a damage to do it. And then if I ever just draw another, I mean, if then I'm just attacking for two. Then it's just like a, a race that I, it's not even, he's not even winning. So, I mean, I guess even if he draws a forest and we're at three damage and I get in game for two. I think I win that race. Maybe I don't, but... It's six, it's six turns for both, so... Alright, what's this, a uh, river boa? 
to roll when I don't even have an island. Oh, okay, so. Alright. The tree type village is getting in there. I mean, I also then also have an option, like, at some point to activate the Mistress Factory, and, uh... So he probably is, like, starts of postures at this point, but... Uh, I get three new cards. Uh, Wasteland. Okay. Getting rid of my blue banner is getting rid of the Mistress Factory. It's actually kind of a choice for him. I think I get rid of the blue banner, but... I don't know, I guess... Probably most of my sources in the deck make mana, like colored mana. He's not even using it. I guess he can, like, can wait. Alright. I guess there's not much incentive for me to use. Okay. Alright, my blue mana goes away. been a very interesting game. <laughs> Alright, Tree Top Village is activated. He's still taking a point to do it. Got another Tree Top, okay. I've got a mountain. I'm... I guess the biggest thing about the tree type is it makes him not take any damage, but I'm going to get him this attack. Yes. It's not like he's going to be in burn range, though. I do have two fire ices. If I could get him to four, I could fire him at the end of one turn. Ooh, that's not good for me. Well, I think I've fallen probably too far behind now. Two, tre two treetop villages can race me. Well... Okay, he gets in for six. And a factor fiction. Not what I was looking for. Yeah, I think I'm dead. So this deck like kind of be like aggressive. He sure has drawn a lot of land. Yeah, I guess I can. Get rid of one treetop village, but then how am I getting out of the situation? I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay. I'll block one. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can draw. Yeah, like Vendetta. You and Real Trap. Alright. Well, I'll draw my three cards. He's got it. The Treetop Village gets in for five. Alright. We'll go sideboard. This Teferi's response is for sure coming in. <laughs> uh, other than that, we've seen... Mox Diamond and Curse Scroll. Are any of these cards bad against him? Not really. But I do like this Teferi's response. I'm going to...
I'll get rid of a forbid for this fairy's response. Do I need a null? I seem curse scroll. Now I'll try it without it. And Pirate Cousin, yeah, doesn't seem good. <laughs> Technically doesn't kill any of his creatures if he has green mana up for River Boa, so. Alright, otherwise, I mean, I, th I think we can definitely take this down, so let's move on to game three. Alright, so we're back for game three, we get to pee on the play. Yeah, I like this. I mean, it would be nice if I had a factor friction or a stand still, but I'm going to keep this. And it's like particularly waste, wasteland proof that I have a lot of mana if he's spending his resources destroying my lands. And I should be able to draw out of it, have more time just to draw out of it. I guess duress is a little bit awkward. Take some mana link, interesting. I wonder what that says about his hand. Alright, I'll play the factory. Let me have like like Simeon Grunts. Undead Wumpus. Otherwise I feel like prohibit. It's just most more cards. Odor keg. So, hmm. Guess it gets rid of a land. I think I'm okay with this. Uh, like if I had multiple counter spells in my hand, then I wouldn't feel so bad about using it, but. I kind of want to keep this prohibit available. Like I can always chain of vapor it if I draw a disc, if I draw a powder keg of my own. The wasteland him. That seems fun. I'll do that. Okay. I'm not going to attack. I have to imagine he's keeping this at zero, but I could see maybe if he's trying to preemptively answer like powder keg or something. But yeah, he keeps it keeps it at zero. Got treetop village. Okay. And still. Yeah, I think I can play the standstill because I do have the Mistress Factory to take out the Treetop Village, so. I should tap my Waste Landable Lands. If I needed to use a Chain of Vapor. Keeps it at zero, that makes sense. Might get an attack in for three, but beyond that, then I should be able to offer up a trade of factory. And if he's got his treetop village, then he's also blowing up his own treetop village if he's blowing up my mistress factory. So it's not really any different than them trading damage. So Another prohibit. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I have to imagine that my deck's better in the long game, so. So, like, I don't really ever close out quickly, so. He can maybe build up, like, a hand where he's able to deploy multiple threats in one turn, or. Yeah, this is interesting, so yeah, I'm gonna block. He maybe just has another another one, but 
I guess maybe his thought is like, if I ever draw another Mistress Factory, then like his attack is just really bad. So maybe he's like, I gotta get the damage in while I can. Yeah, he does have another trap village. Okay. So at this point, am I just like supposed to start attacking? Well, I'm not going to be blocking, so. Do you want to use his. Yeah, if you. I mean, I guess if he wants to use his powder keg here, then. Let's see if he does. I guess that gives me the option to draw another Mistress Factory. But yeah, this situation's a little bit weird. I need to draw a Wasteland or Dust Bowl or Mistress Factory. Otherwise, I think he's pretty happy just attacking, attacking, attacking. Yeah, I feel like I'm losing. And I mean, the Chain of Vapor can't even target the Retail Village, it's not land, so even if I got to a point where I was going to say I'll, I'll break the standstill, I can't bounce his Retail. Yeah, I only got four more turns here. All right. I think I got beaten in my own game of of manlands. So, two top villages doing a number on me. All right, looks like it's more of the same. That's not very surprising, though. So I got three more turns. See if we can, I guess it's, yeah. Aries response. That one before, but. Okay. I guess if I, I guess if I drew like Factor Fiction, that wouldn't be the worst card either. I'd be willing to main phase a fact and just put a factory into play. So at that point, he probably has something like a Vindicate or a Withdrawal Wasteland. Yeah, he might just have a Wasteland in his hand. And uh, as I'm like excited to get my Mistress Factory, I guess I have a Teferi's response. But... Oof. Chain of Vapor, not what I wanted. Maybe I should uh, Chain of Vapor my standstill at the end of turn, make him discard a card so maybe I can get a little more information about his deck. I'm going to hold off, but I think uh, it's a Pretty big long shot for me to win. I guess I want Wasteland or Dust Bowl. Fire technically buys me a turn. Not the best way to do it. I guess we'll see. Great. Comes the treetop village. Never down. Breaking your own standstill is never a good feeling. Through a factory. <laughs> so, uh. 
I won't have the. It will be summoning sec. I won't be able to activate it. Hmm. Do I still need water keg? Hospital wasteland. Emerald's disc is too slow. Choke. Oh, uh, runner stone. I mean, maybe I should have just chain of apered it. Your river boa. Okay, might have to chain of vapor that one. Very conclave. Yep. So I am dead to the treetop village. Okay. We'll move on to game number four. I mean, we did see like chokes. The question is, is like. What card is this a null better than? I guess it's better than like maybe like fire ice. Because most of the creatures we've seen are like bigger and like if he just has a green mana up then the river boa can't be killed, so we'll try this, I guess. All right, we'll take the play. Yeah, I guess we can keep this. It's kind of slow. Mana is kind of fragile, but yeah, I don't know. I'll keep it. He also starts with a seven card. I'll start with. Ooh, Shivenry. I don't even know. I don't even know if I should be leading with Factory to bait it out or if having more blue mana. I don't know. Getting duress right away. Yep. I think he probably needs to take Factor Fiction. That's what I would think. I don't think he's killing me anytime soon, and it's very likely that I'm going to get into Factor Friction mana, so. He's thinking about it, so. Takes the forbid. Alright. Maybe that means he has a bunch of mana denial, but. We will see. I don't know which one of these I would want to get blown up. I guess the Mistress Factory. This Dust Bowl is, seems pretty good against him. I guess if next turn if I don't draw land, I'll play the island. Don't want to expose Dust Bowl if I don't have to, and don't want to... Lose a land drop if I don't need to either. Okay, so keep my Mistress Factory at bay for a while. Prohibits, not a bad draw. Buys me a little more time. I think I'll play the Dust Bowl over like tapping three mana and then bouncing a land and playing Cross's Catacomb and like fact friction main phase. I guess I'd rather expose the dust bowl than like lose a land drop yet. The windswept teeth. Alright. Get in the forest right away. 
I guess if it's three mana, yeah, I will prohibit this. That way he doesn't have a clock in play, so. First scroll. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. But, like, it, this is pretty good. Ooh, Island, I don't even have to play the Dust Bowl yet. So I think I'll fact, and if, hopefully he's not playing, like, a threatening spell, and then I can just start pulling up his lands, I think. He's got a wasteland. Okay. Hunted Pumpus. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's fine. I have Chain of Vapor. So if he's gonna want to spend the mana to do that again, that's fine. So I think I just can waste or dust bowl and get hit rid of his wasteland right away. I probably just take the big pile. This multiple mistress factory would be good. I have to get rid of the powder keg first. But giving me a powder keg gives me a way to do that. I still have two other lands. Oh. I'll take this little pile, I guess. Well, I'm not staying silly right now. But I think I will Dust Bowl. Sacrifice a Shivern Reef. You only have the two fire ices as the red spells, so not that big of a deal. So I think I'm just going to take six from the Hunted Wumpus once, and then at the end of turn bounce it. Because if I were to bounce it and then he just has a land and replace it, it's kind of awkward. And this way I can always just dust pull it away, dust pull his land away. And know that he's not going to be close to casting his Hunted Wumpus. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll take six. He's got a wasteland of his own. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. So, can I Chain of Vapor now? Be dressing me. Yeah, I guess I'll bounce this guy. I was the same. I was supposed to play Powder Keg and then stand still, but I don't have that option anymore. Hmm. Yeah, if he just has another land, then. And the Hunted Wumpus will be coming out. Hmm. Another chain of vapor is not bad. I will play Mistress Factory Outer Keg. So I th think I want to tick mine up to one. I don't know if I want to use it right away, but I guess I guess if you chain of vapors and sacrifices the land, it bonds my powder keg. I'm pretty happy with that. Gerard's verdict. I guess I will respond by. Chain of Vapor. 
powder keg. Now, do I have to think, do I want to put this powder keg at one and blow it up? Do I want to try and tick it up to four to get rid of the hunted wampus I know about? There's a treetop village. Well, there's an option to keep it at zero, too. We know his hand, Outer Keg and Hunted Wumpus. So if, if he plays a Powder Keg, then I can't really ever block with Mistress Factory. If I get rid of his Powder Keg and have a Mistress Factory, he could Curse Scroll or damage. I always tap it in response. I think this needs to go up either one or two, or maybe four, but I don't think I can keep it at zero for the three top village. Ooh, that was good. That was good. Um, well, I'm going to use this. Question is do I want to use it on the Black Source? Do I want to use it on the three top village? Do I want to wait? Don't want to wait because he's, you know, about Hunted Wampus. I think I'll just blow up the Treetop Village because the black cards I've seen are like Gerard's Verdict and Russ. So, what land do I want to sack? I think I sack an island first. Feels kind of weird, but. But now if this Dust Bowl stays in play, and I can keep him off of Hunted Wumpus, then I could take this Powder Cock up to two, then chip in with the Mistress Factory. That's my plan. So I will take this up. Don't need to use it right in a way. All right, I will dust bowl. Sacrifice in this factory. I guess that makes like drawing like a factor fiction awkward, but he keeps it as a zero. That makes sense. I'm going to keep my powder keg at two. I just want to draw a land. Okay. Well, that doesn't worry me too much. A bit. Okay. So I could powder keg and then attack for two, but I will, I'll leave up prohibit man. I mean, I just get to a spot where it's like, is he going to be activating first scrolls then? If he just rolls land land, then he has hunted wampus. I don't know. We will see. Got a wasteland. Okay. Where's my Teferi's response? And still. Given that I picked up my powder keg to two, I can't get rid of the curse scrolls. I don't even know if I can stand still here. Because if I stand still, 
he just starts curse scrolling me. But like, what? Can he reliably curse scroll me if he's just drawing a card every turn? Like, how often is it gonna hit me? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. This could be very wrong. We will see. Well, curse scroll. I guess. Oh. Well, well, I might have to take up my powder kick to three now. Okay. I'm not gonna be using curse scroll on this turn. Right. I guess a benefit would be if I draw a land, then I have the option to dust bowl his wasteland. Any land he draws, then. I guess I still have the standstill. He'd have to break that at least. Okay, we'll take this up. All right. Let's see what he's gonna do. I'm guessing he's just going to wasteland one of my lands and then start curse crawling me. Probably could just curse crawls right now. Leaves up the wasteland. Yep. Yeah. Hunted Wumpus. Hopefully he doesn't draw land. I think we want him to draw a bunch of spells. So that his curse scroll is less impactful. I'll destroy this. Hmm. I feel like I let this game slip away, but I don't I don't know. Thinking about wasteland. Wasteland's a factory. Okay. Oh man. Uh, that treetop village is probably the best card that he could have had. I don't think I'm getting out of this. All right, I think I'm just gonna be dead in three turns, so I guess I technically can fire ice one time. But I think the writing is on the wall. I don't see myself coming out of this situation very. I I don't even know what I would need. I need to draw land and Nevin Rolls disc. He's not attacking. Oh, he's in the second main. I'll I'll tap it down. I was gonna tap it down, so play it like we were really playing, so I guess he doesn't get to cast stuff on his uh main phase, but Now I can see his curse scroll. Of 
poor little cold man. That's me right now. A fetal position. All right. I think he might be activating a curse scroll. Is it the well? I guess he already drew his card. So. Mana leak. That's not what I wanted. A play. Bring curse scroll. If, I wonder if he's like trying to cast Vindicated. He just thinks we're like our second main. Like he never realized that he wasn't in the combat phase. <laughs> That'd be funny. But... <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of a card in my deck that gets me out of the situation. I guess Powder Keg stops him from attacking, but then I probably. Just get hunted wumpus or curse scrolled out of the game. Curse scroll is probably not very effective. Alright, I'm just trying to fill the time as Lester just taps and untaps his lands. I think he's just toying with me. Alright. <laughs> I drew a disc. I don't have the fourth land though. Um uh... Yeah, I don't think... I think as if I next draw is Outer Keg. Then... I could draw Powder Keg and then draw Land. So everyone, be hopeful. Powder Keg. Okay. And this is very suspenseful. I mean, I guess it's only like a one in eleven chance. I think there's still three left. Uh alas. Alright, well this is the blue red control deck. Uh, I fell to the this this concoction that Lester has, so uh, it was pretty interesting there and there were a lot of key decision points and uh i felt like a lot of it's in your control and maybe i was activating dust bowl too aggressively but i didn't really have much going on but maybe there was something differently i could do it'd be interesting if you guys have some comments but uh, thanks for watching thanks if you haven't uh followed the channel already or subscribed uh then also liking the videos helps but if you are interested in us playing any particular match, let us know in the comments. But until next time, thanks for watching and take care.